The Horror Under the Entryway Rug In my home, of which I have lived several years at, there is an entryway covered with a smallish rug of slightly ornate decoration. This rug serves a purpose that any rug would serve, to remove dirt and debris from my shoes and those of my guests before entering my home, thusly preventing my floors from being sullied. Little did I know, it would later be the sight of a gruesome horror that would forever be seared into my memory. But I digress. It was a normal midwinter's evening, or so I thought. The furnace was howling in its normal manner, trying desperately to keep the home sufficiently warmed. I, being cold and tired, was huddled on my sofa, passing the hours by watching my television likely some dreadful show on the net of flicks. Out of the corner of my eye, I noticed a small movement where there should be none, over by the rug. At first, I chalked it up to my eyes being tired. <laughs> You're getting old, Matt, I said out loud to myself. Resuming my flicksing of net, I gave it not a second thought. That is, until it happened again strange. This time I had to inspect it further. Getting up from my seated position, I walked over to the rug. I could not help but feel as though I were being watched. Hmm, strange. This rug is supposed to be lying flat, not flopped up. What could have done this? As I peeked down for a closer inspection, I saw it. The thing. My mind was blasted by the horror of what I saw, and all rational thought left me. Two huge eyes, a horrifying nose, and two claws clearly meant for murder. Being unable to fathom what I had seen, I ran screaming into the night, never to return to the place I once called home. But that's not the end. No. Even more terrifying is that I saw two of these creatures. I have no doubt that were I ever to return to that home, I would swiftly meet my end. Epilogue After recounting my tale of that dreadful night, when I fled my home in abject terror, I felt some small sense of courage return to me. Surely it couldn't be enough to return to that dreadful home, with the fuzzy horrors lurking under the entryway rug. But it was. Upon entering the home, all seemed as normal. The rug was returned to its normal position, and the rest of the home seemed to be as I had left it. Was it possible that I had hallucinated the entire affair? Unlikely, but possible. I began to inspect the rest of the living room, bringing out my camera in hopes of documenting anything unnatural I may come upon. As I turned toward the wall and began to approach a rather tall piece of furniture, I noticed a medium-sized mound of fur lying motionless. A combination of dread and nausea began to wash over me as I felt my entire world shift. Then, it moved. Horror of horrors, it was the same fanged and clawed beast that I'd fled from. Shielding my eyes, I attempted to take photos of the awful things as I once again ran from my home, fleeing into the cold night. But as I say that, I realize it is no longer my home. It belongs to something else, meow.